In this question, we're told the impulse response doesn't change with time. So the impulse response is constant. So if we wanted to plot a sketch of the impulse response, h of t, it would look something like that. So it doesn't change with time. Why is it zero for negative time? Because it's a causal system. So we're co talking about a causal system with uh, h of t zero for negative time. So when we're told the impulse response doesn't change with time, then it's as if we're saying that h of t is equal to k, but only for positive time. So we multiply that by u of t. So that's our impulse response. The question is asking for the output. What's the output y? So remember, if we have a system with an input x and an output y, then y of t is equal to h of t convolved with x of t. So we could do that, or what we could do is use the information we have about h of t and find h of s. And when we find h of s, we can then find y of s, and then from y of s, we can find y of t. So starting from the impulse response, we can find the transfer function, then find y in the s domain, and then y in the t domain. So h of s is the Laplace transform of a unit step. And here we have a extract from the table of Laplace transforms. So the Laplace transform of a unit step is 1 over s. So we have k times 1 over s. y of s is simply the input x of s multiplied by the transfer function. And the transfer function is what we just found. So we can write that as x of s times 1 over s, or times k over s. And then to find y of t, we would simply use the table again. And there we have something very similar to that. So 1 over s, f of s. Here we have k over s, x of s. So we can write y of t as k times the integral from 0 to t. Instead of f of t, we would write x of t. dt. And because we're using t here, it's safest not to use the same variable, so we'll use alpha. So that's where this came from in the question. So that is our final answer. That we can find the output by starting from the impulse response finding the transfer function, from the transfer function finding the output in the s domain, and then finding the inverse Laplace transform of that to find the time domain output.